All right, guys, today I have this really interesting uh, mathematical type card trick to show you. Now, for the most part, I'm not the biggest fan of these, but I have seen a couple requests. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one that I don't think is too bad. But anyways, uh, to start off, I'm going to show you guys I have these six cards off to the side, and those will make more sense in a second. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and do a shuffle up the deck, and we are going to go to the first six hearts. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these six cards here, and these will make more sense. Let's see if we have these. We have, we happen to pick Ace, a four, a two, eight, five, and a seven. So from a completely shuffled pack, these are the cards we have. And what I'm gonna do is show you guys that you could, if you were here, I'd let you guys go ahead and use the die. We happened to land on a three. So you could have landed on any value. I have these six random cards here off to the side. Now all I'm gonna try and do Let's say I take these cards, we leave these here, and all I have to do here is go over to the calculator, and let's go ahead and plug in what you have. So we have an ace, four, two, eight, five, seven. So that's going to be on the screen, and we're going to multiply that by three, and we enter that. And so we got four, two, eight, five, seven, one. So out of all the random numbers, here's what we happen to get to. So we had, leave this in the screen, so we had four, Two, eight, eight, five, seven. So this is a trick, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and reverse this so you guys can see that as well. Happen to line up with the calculator perfectly. So this is a trick, and if you guys want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys. So here's how the trick is gonna work. So, um, in all honesty, it's not too complicated, but there is a little bit of math involved. But it's really simple. So the whole thing here is what you do before you start the trick. You go ahead and you take out the value ace four two eight five seven so go ahead get this arrangement of cards out ace four two eight five seven and what you want to do is you want to do this for the hearts and the clubs and uh, what you do here is you take the cards like I said ace four two eight five seven so with the hearts you're going to leave this order but with the ace on top and then for the black cards you take the same exact order ace four two eight five seven but this time the seven is going to be on top and let's go ahead and leave these off to the side for now and what you do is you go through the deck and you take the rest of the hearts that aren't that ace four two eight five seven you go ahead you take the rest of the hearts you're going to move these to the top this way when you ripple shuffle the cards you're not going to mess up the trick later down the road so we go ahead we take these cards out we're going to move these all to the top here I think it was another six. We move that all to the top. This way, when we riffle shuffle the card, it's not going to mess it up. So we have these six cards, ace, four, two, eight, five, seven, second from the bottom. So here they are on the bottom of the deck. You just have to place one more card on top. And now the deck is ready to go. And you have the other six cards off to the side. Now you can overhand shuffle these, but just by cutting them. So you go ahead, you take a group of cards, you just keep cutting them. So essentially, it looks like you're mixing up the deck, but you're really not. You can expect this. All right, so I have these cards over here. We can mix these up. Uh, these will make more, uh, you know, more sense later on. So you leave these off to the side. You go ahead, you go over to these cards, and if the spectator knows how to shuffle the cards, you can have them shuffle it as well. Now, one ripple shuffle isn't going to mess up the order. So you go ahead, you tell the spectators, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the first uh, six hearts that we get to. So we have one, two, three, four, five and six. So now the order isn't disturbed either. So we still have them in that ace, four, two, Eight, five, seven. So that's a cool thing. You can riffle shuffle the cards. The spectators won't know uh, anything. And uh, what's going to happen is you tell them. Um, you don't go off the bat and say, "Okay, so we have, you know, Ace, four, two, eight, five, seven. You kind of say it as if, if it's, if it, uh, or as if it's random. So you take Ace. Yeah, we picked an Ace, a four, two, eight, five, and a seven. So if you just rattle off numbers, it's going to look like. It's going to look like you already have an idea of what's going on. So you want to make it look random. You have the ace, four, two, eight, five, seven. And from here, you tell the spectators that they are going to go ahead and roll the die. So you have them roll it. And I'm going to go, well, it almost fell off. So it rolled to a five. So here's how the actual mathematic part works. Um, but essentially, the first thing you're going to do is you're not going to go ahead and multiply one, four, two, eight, five, seven by five yet. You're going to go ahead and get the cards in the order you need them before you touch the calculator. That's really important because if you go ahead and calculate these numbers and then put the five and then shuffle the cards up to get you know what you need, it's gonna look like you were waiting to see what value uh, the multiplication came out to. So it's just a little just a little thing. But anyways, here's what it looks like. 
So the biggest thing here, I'm going to go ahead and simplify it as simple as I can. All you have to do is take the number 7 and multiply it by, what, by whatever you get on the die. And whatever number is in the ones place, that's the card, that's the number, the value you need on the bottom of the deck. So in this case, this was actually really simple. Um, we had 7 times 5, which equals 35. The number in the ones place is a 5. You need to shuffle the cards or just cut the cards until you get a 5 on the bottom. So in this case, this was really simple. If this happened in real life, you'd be super lucky because you wouldn't have to sit here and overhand shuffle the cards. But in this case, you tell spectators, all right, so you could have picked any card and you look, you peek at the bottom card. In this case, it happens to be a 5. You don't have to do anything. And you go ahead, you multiply the numbers. So in this case, we take the 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 times 5. And then now you multiply it and you say, all right, so now we have 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5. So you pick the cards up, you show them you have 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5. So we'll go ahead and redo this. Let's say we get another value. You, really, we, you know, roll the die, we get to a 3. Now 3 times 7 is 21. You look over in the ones place, you need the ace at the bottom. So you keep, you know, mixing these cards up, just cutting the cards until you peak and you see you have that ace. And at this point, once you have the ace, you go over to the calculator, you type in the new value, so 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 times 3. You say, all right, so you have 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1. So you have 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1. So that is the trick, guys. One little go over. You have, you take 7 times whatever number you get on the die. You go ahead, you find whatever number is in the one place. You move that card to the bottom of this deck. Then you go over the calculator and show your spectators that you know some magic. So this is the trick, guys. And if I hope you guys like it, and as always, thank you. She's a literal vampire.